Today we'll be discussing the dynamics of relationships. More specifically, why do relationships leave reach to the level of it being toxic? So some examples of toxicity could be a guy being extremely controlling as to what a woman wear, what time she comes back home, what she has to cook, or even to the point of one partner raising their hands on another. Other examples could literally be being verbally abusive all the time and the woman not wanting to go and come back or either partner not wanting to leave the relationship after it is so negative to the obvious person. So I'm just very, very interested in knowing what you guys yourself consider toxic and what level it should be capped at. When it comes to relationship, it's both ways. You had your life before I come into your life. If I'm meeting a girl, there's a, there's a, there's a way she was living a life before I actually approached her or before I actually crawl into her life. Let me see it that way. She's got a dress code, she's got everything. I dress my own type of way before even I approached her. If there's anything I will have to do in that relationship, my own opinion, in my opinion, if there's anything I have to introduce to her when it comes to her dress code or some stuff that's, um, that I think she shouldn't be doing or be doing, I will come in gently. The word controlling, to me, should be used in the context of, um, of care. Because one of the problems I've also discovered about, about a relationship is a, a woman trying to turn a man to become a woman. And a man too trying to turn uh, a woman to become a man. That is a major problem. The way I see relationship is partnership, where everyone comes in with, um, um, we want it on the other to make relationship work. I genuinely feel like people mistake one's desire, what you like for toxicity. And I genuinely believe that people live in this abstract fantasy world. I like what I like. I go for what I like. And my fellow, Brothers here said mentioned that you've lived 25, 30 years of your life without someone else. And it's very hard to change based off just a simple conversation. At the beginning of every relationship, people want to portray a certain image. They want to accept because they want the other person. So they're gonna say yes, yes, yes to most things, most often. Like she smiled, but what can I do? Will I listen? One thing you need to realize when it comes to women, this is a Western world. You see? The mentality with we back in Africa or any other country like around the world is different when it comes to Western, you know? No, wait, 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 I, I, I will categorize it, sorry. Over here, women got many rights. Over in Africa, best you go look your woman. The next thing you look and say, be like, say you're the mad, Abby. Like, you're the smile, but then the smile, you said the smile. No, 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 am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It happens. But over here, you can't do that. And perhaps, I'm going to put it this way, yeah? If a woman or a man is going to do anything, they will do it. Okay, like sometimes, um, getting a reaction from your partner can even be best thing that could happen to you. Because when it, sometimes women could be resentful. They don't talk about it. And I think that is where the danger is, you know, because... And many women are like that. You, you, you do something wrong, you look at another woman, she pretends she didn't see it. She, she, that day goes. Another day comes. It starts storing. In, it's, it's like there's, a, there's two buckets. The good buckets and the, and the bad buckets. Which when you start doing stuff, it gets to the bad buckets. And there will be a time the bad bucket gets full. And that is when you see the multi reactions. And that's sometimes where you now see full breakup. That's where you now see divorces. So most times it's always good when to, to possibly be able to accept reaction and have a better communication with that reaction than just letting them be resentful. So when your lady is not even talking about some of the things you do, know that she might be resentful about it and quickly find a way to communicate so that issue can be solved because it's going to the back basket but on bucket to the guest full and you just don't know what you might get after that. We're walking in the park and a girl was looking at me, a mixed race. 
you know, a girl was looking at me. She was beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. And I looked, I looked back at her and I smiled, like, just smile. It's not like I wanted anything. She smiled at me. I <laughs> <laughs> she smiled. <laughs> Are you saying that is a small thing? That's a big so one. Many yeah, I think he deserved the slap, and I'll say why. Because there has to be a respect. I think the woman is trying to mark her territory, to say this is what I can take, and um, this is what I wouldn't take. Yeah, maybe slapping is actually go going too far because you shouldn't raise your hand on anyone. So saying he deserves a slap, actually, I'm only joking about that. However, for a man to, you know, see a beautiful woman coming and you're with your woman and you have that, there are different stages to that. You've got the eye contact, after eye contact, the smile, and she smiles back at you. Well, come on, any woman you're with is going to be jealous, right? So um, that, uh, that, that's, that's why I think... Um, my, my, my own cut for that is. However, generally, within um, uh, relationships, you know, that insecurity is a key part that plays. And you need to define within that relationship what you will accept within. For example, the um, both of you come together and say, okay, make sure you always discuss before you go to bed. You know, discuss any issues um, throughout the day before you go to bed as well as when things happen immediately try and just be patient and you know don't overreact <laughs> <laughs>